Hey friends, welcome back to Homeschoolology. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Nikki. I'm a homeschooling mom of four, currently a seventh grader, third grader, and five and three-year-old doing combined pre-K level. On this channel, I usually talk to you guys about secular homeschooling, but today's video is part of our series on um, our most recent travel. We are a family who enjoys to travel to get out and see the country and take our kiddos along for that journey. So today's video, I'm going to be talking about the American Museum of Natural History, which is the big history museum in New York City. It is the one that the Night of the Museum movies are based on, um, and my kiddos love that movie, so I knew it was something that we wanted to definitely go and see and do. We had been once before, but it was only for like a half a day, um, and if you don't know anything about that museum, it is absolutely massive. There is so much to see and do there that there is no way you could possibly do it in one, not even two, probably not even three days. So the, I knew it was something that we were definitely going to want to go back and see. I had promised my daughter because she was very upset that we didn't get to see um, a good portion of it. The very first time I promised her that we would want, go back one day. And so I knew this was something that we had to do. This was something that we definitely planned on doing when we returned to New York City. And so this was a priority. I explained in my earlier video, which I'll link right here for you guys, that um, we, I priced it out. Uh, you do have to pay, so they have their normal exhibits and then they have like rotating exhibits. They have exhibits that are not there all the time. Um, and so you do have to pay for the, you know, just entry in, and then you do have to pay for each individual one of those rotating exhibits, um, mostly. Sometimes, like some of them are paid and some of them aren't. Uh, you do have to have scheduled times to not only arrive at the library, but also to um, see these specialized exhibits. So you do have to print prepare ahead of time. You can't just show up at the, I mean, you could just show up at the museum, but the likelihood of you getting to do what you want to do when you want to do it is very low unless you're planning that before you go. And to do that, you just go to their website and fill it all in and it works out great. But I did explain in that video that um, I once I had calculated the cost of like just the exhibits we would want to see and um, our entry into it, it was like $165 for our family of six. And I was went ahead because if you don't know, if you have a larger family, sometimes the family year plan is pretty much the same cost as what it costs to get into the museum for that many people. And I looked and it was only $180 to get a whole year membership to the museum. Um, and I figured that was, you know, going ahead and doing the, the membership was going to be worth it in the long run because instead of only doing you know the two exhibits that we thought we would get to do all four instead of um we would get a private entrance to into the museum we would get a discount on food and souvenirs and i thought that all of those pluses were enough to make up the little bit of difference of the cost for just going for the day and then since we didn't have a lot of plans i was like if we go ahead and do the membership then we can go another day if we so choose while we were there um, and so I I decided to go ahead and do the membership and I'm really glad that we did because the line to get in was insanely long um, and we got to go down the ramp and into a different entrance that was a private entrance for members only and we were in in a matter of seconds like I think there was one family in front of us so it was definitely worth it for that alone really that did put us not like going into the main um, room, which we have done now like twice. We still have not entered in through the main room because the first time we had our stroller and they made us go around to a different entrance. And then this time we had the membership, we got, went to a different entrance, a totally different entrance from that one. So we didn't ever go into the main one. So we made that a priority to see that from, you know, from the inside, <laughs> but we did make a priority to see that. And it was really cool. They had these really huge fossils out in it. And I have video and, um, photos that I'll put here for you guys. We um, only had about like an hour before our first exhibit that we had a timed um, schedule for. So we did do some, one of the rooms that we had done before was like the Ocean Life room. But when we were there in the past, they were doing COVID testing in that space. And so you could only go like 
just walk in the room and like see it you couldn't actually like walk around and see all of the exhibits and all the thing and that's the one with the big blue whale so we had seen the big blue whale but we hadn't gone and gotten to like walk around the whole room there and see everything in the room and you definitely couldn't go down the stairs to that part so we made sure that we hit all of that and then we headed over to our first exhibit which was the butterflies man oh man <laughs> did they have it humid in that room it was so humid um and nice and toasty to keep those uh butterflies happy and it was a really cool exhibit um we've been i shared in my epcot video where we've we've done butterfly tents before we live in florida so so that we there are a lot of them around um so we've done them before, but this one was really fascinating because they had really unique, different butterflies and moths that you don't see in your standard like butterfly tent. Like they don't have those ones at the Epcot one. They had like giant butterflies and the, they had a lunar moth and they had like just all these really rare kinds of butterflies that we hadn't seen before in person. And so that was a really, really neat experience. We really enjoyed that. I'll of course be putting in video in pictures here for you guys. After the butterfly exhibit, we again had a little bit of time to walk around, explore. There's a whole new, like the butterfly exhibit was in this new wing of the museum um, that is really interestingly designed. There are some exhibits along the walls and it was just really a great um, time that we had there. And then after the, you know, just doing a little bit of exploring, we went to our next exhibit, which was Invisible Worlds, um, which was so cool you're going through like this um walkway basically that has a bunch of different like little hands-on activity boards for the kids to do like like touch screen things for the kids to do um and learn about all the things like we learned about um what makes up our food we learned about germs we learned about genes we learned about all kinds of things that are like not stuff that you think about or not stuff that you see every day or unless you're really looking for them kind of thing and it ends in this big room that has one of the like interactive like movie for lack of they called it a movie so i'm gonna call it a movie but it's one of the ones where it's like on the ceiling on the floor all around and it's interactive so like there are things where um like when it was raining there would be like puddles that would come at your feet or that it would be around the room that you could go jump in and when you would jump in it it would splash and like there was like it was so 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 cool i will say that i am somebody that does experience motion sickness like with thing when when I'm not moving like I can do roller coasters but I can't do like simulated rides so like when when I'm not moving exactly the way like when it's not reality the virtual reality stuff I get very nauseous um and so I was only able to stand in the room for a few minutes um before I started to not feel great my daughter my youngest daughter um wasn't loving it <laughs> she was a little scared of it so I did go ahead and take her out of the space um it helped calm her down and it kept me from being like being on the outside and having the walls in front of me to look at helps me be able to enjoy the experience without like feeling nauseous and sick so if you are somebody who experiences that they d said that they do have chairs that they do have chairs i sat in one they have these little like folded chairs that you can actually they will bring it into the room so you can sit in the room and do it but i found just sitting outside of the room was much more helpful <laughs>
Um, but that exhibit was super cool. My kids really loved it, really enjoyed it. Um, and so we did that and then it was time for us to take our lunch break. I will say that lunch in that cafeteria is astronomically expensive. Uh, we are a family of six, so food is is an expense for us in general. It just it just is. It is something that costs a lot of money when we go out to eat. But this was <laughs> like for cafeteria food. We were spending this kind of money at nice sit down restaurants in New York City. Um, I think our bill before the discount was like over one hundred and fifty dollars. And so. Um, if you are trying to do this on a budget, you might want to consider taking in your own lunch. I, that is allowed. Um, so that might be something you want to think about because um, that was quite pricey. But the food was good um, and they did have a lot of things to choose from. Like there were pizza and burgers and hot dogs and and then like a whole like kind of buffet with like roasted, I had roasted chicken and potatoes. Um, my husband had some pasta. Um, my daughter got some something else. They had like pulled barbecue, like pulled pork and mac and cheese and things like that. So there were a lot of options to choose from and the food was good. I mean, it was, it was still cafeteria level, but it wasn't, it, you know, it was good food. Um, I guess above, a little above what you think of when you think of your standard cafeteria. So it was good. We enjoyed it. It was very expensive though. So know that going in, um, that either you're going to be ready to pony up the money or, um, bring a lunch along with you, like a, a packed lunch along with you. So after lunch, we had another, um, we had a little bit of time to kind of go and explore some of the standard exhibits, some of the ones that we hadn't seen on our previous um, visit. And then we did have our next exhibit, which was a film in the auditorium called Serengeti. It was super fascinating. Things that I didn't know. They, the first question they asked was like, "What? who is the king of the safari? And you automatically go to lion. You know, that's what you've been taught that you, you've seen in pop culture. But really, it's the wildebeest because there are literally millions of wildebeest and that is who runs the savannah. Like it, everything revolves around them. They migrate. Like they go from one area to another area because they there's so many of them. Like they deplete their their the grass in the one area so they have to travel to another area also like the rains the way the rains are it makes the grass grow over here and so they go over so but they have this migration that they do um you know they're here half the year and they go here the other half and then they go back and it just like documented like that journey and how them moving affected every other animal on the safari and it was so well done so fascinating my kids loved it i loved it so even my husband who you know is oftentimes impressed but doesn't like it doesn't get like overly excited even he was like that was a really impressive video i really enjoyed that um and so it was it was really a great video worth a watch worth seeing um, and I'm glad that we did it because we really really did like it um and then after that we did have um uh, time to go see the like um oh, what is that thing called the planetarium show um but it was not different than the one that we had seen the last time we were there and we were kind of running out of time um and we had a, a reservation at carmine's which is an italian restaurant family style italian restaurant that's you know something you need to do if you're in new york city and so we weren't sure like we didn't want to be late for that and so we went ahead and decided my other kids my my oldest daughter could stay there forever i could stay there forever but my younger kids were starting to get you know done we'd been at the museum for a very long time we got there at 10 30 and it was now like um three o'clock i think or almost three o'clock so we chose not to do that and just kind of see some of the other exhibits that we wanted to see they were looking for the big head from the um the night at the museum movie who's says gimme gum gum dum dum um, they love that guy and so we we definitely made sure that we found him this time uh we also heard when we were there that you can that you can do a night at the museum um tour like there's an actual tour where it takes you to all the places from that movie um i wish we had known about that sooner because my kids would have loved that so if we ever go back um that is something that i will definitely be adding to our list to research and find out more about um, but we uh, really enjoyed it it was such a great museum very well done very old like like so the the like the the really cool part about it is like the museum itself is a historical thing now so like you're you're 
stepping into the past of how museums were and that yet they're also expanding and showing you how museums are now and so it just is a really great neat experience so much to see there so much to do there so much to learn there uh, and we just really love it so if you're in New York City it is a must do whether you have your kiddos along or not it is a must do if you're homeschoolers you gotta do it like it is so worth it um, this definitely, even though it was pricey, um, it was definitely worth the value. I feel like like the, the price tag matched the value that you're getting at this museum. So we loved it. We um, had a great time. It was just a lot of fun. Uh, so that is what I have to share with you guys today. I hope you found any of that helpful, useful, entertaining. Um, if you have any other questions about what we saw or what we did there or um, anything that, I, that you think I might be able to help you with, go ahead and drop those down in the comments. If you've ever been, I'd love to know what your favorite part of the museum was uh, down in the comments as well. While you are down there, I would love it if you would hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, and give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget you can always follow us over on Instagram at homeschoolology, and I hope you will come back and chat with me again real soon, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.